Hello everybody, welcome back to RenderBots, my name is James and today there's some news in the Cinema 4D world and it's that version R16 is soon to be released. Uh, this is great news for people like us, people like me, people like us in the industry who uh, love it when a new piece of software comes out because it means we get to play with new toys. Uh, the biggest toy to come from Cinema 4D R16 is the new motion tracking tool. Um, this is the part I'm really, really excited about, uh, the software. I haven't got my hands on the software as of yet, uh, but this is definitely something that a lot of people will find really useful. The main reason for that is because previously we've had to use other pieces of software to do motion tracking. Before I go into that fully, let's take a look at what I mean by motion tracking. I'm sure um, you're interested <laughs> as much as I am. So what we'll do is I'm going to open up Safari here. And I've got an example of motion tracking right here inside of um, Cinema 4D's R16's reel. So let's just take a quick look. As you can see, you can put actual physical 3D items now into a true 3D world. Uh, this is great. You can go back into your back garden like this guy has, do a little bit of filming even on your iPhone camera or any type of camera actually incorporate what you built in Cinema 4D into this environment. As you can see, it's pretty impressive. Um, and it's something that we can all do, uh, which is just brilliant. This is a good example. And I'm just going to um, freeze it about here. So as you can see from this shot here, we can see that they're using uh, tracking points. So what happens is we import some real-time footage into Cinema 4D. Um, that then gets tracked inside of Cinema 4D. And then um, it creates what we call these little uh, node points here. And these are basically being tracked by the camera. These are easy to identify by the camera, what's actually being moved. And once we see these, um, it then allows us to then uh, see what that looks like in 3D and then bring in um, some cool little bits of 3D, bring in your own little, little objects. Uh, I love this because it demonstrates it really well. There you go, cool. This guy's obviously got some little helicopter which is going to fly underneath that area there. Um, really, really cool. And I say something we're really, really excited about. Um, I found this other piece of footage, which is pretty cool. And again, it demonstrates a little bit more just what Sim 4D can do. So you see this object, you would track this shot on some sort of uh, dolly rig. I just love it. This is going to be so much fun to play with. And again, demonstrated really, really well in these two shots. So there you go. That is the biggest news to come from um, Cinema 4D at the moment. So there you go, there's um, camera tracking. Now, as I said, the reason why it's such a big deal is because previously, if you wanted to do anything like um, tracking in real time 3D like that, you'd have to go and use something like After Effects. Um, in other words, um, shoot the video, track it inside there, take all that information into Cinema 4D, and then with those points, then you could track a 3D object, which basically means you've got to pretty much you know, own a pretty expensive piece of software or rent that for the month. And now obviously Cinema 4D wants us to have not leave that program and, and do it all inside of there. Another pro, uh, program that a lot of people use in the industry is by the Pixel Farm here, this PF Track uh, X thing. And again, as you can see, it's very much the same vein. Um, it just enables you to, um, again, take your footage in, track it all, and then manoeuvre it around inside of cinema. So a lot of times you're going to be bouncing between these two products. So um, with R16, it's all built in. It's going to be a lot of fun. And again, I can't wait to show you exactly what that is. So that's the first thing about the new Cinema 40 R16 coming out very soon. So the next um, great um, advancement inside of R16 is this brand new Reflect in this channel. Um, again, this is something you've got to experience to understand really. But basically what it means is previously on Cinema 4D R15 and below, it basically meant that we would have to um, generate reflections. So as we know, everything we look at in the world is reflecting something, some type of light. This is what makes it look really real. What Cinema 4D R16 has now done is brought in um, a brand new uh, reflectance channel. Um, and again, this is pretty awesome. And by this little video, as you can see, we have up to 16 layers of reflection inside a 3D object. 
and this is something we are going to look at at great length at some time. And as you can see from this brilliant demo here, we can see that having a great reflection rate, um, more layers inside of that, can give some really great results um, inside this car paint. And it means things like yeah, oily textures, things like carpet, things like this, um, that has more than one reflection. Um, this means that we can redo some of that really great advanced stuff. And again, I'm really excited to get my hands on this uh, particular component of the new R16. Next up is the brand new cog wheel. Uh, while this might not sound that much fun, um, it's going to be great for people who do anything in the mechanical world. In other words, the amount of cogs that you can have and they can interact with each other, it's going to be a real plus point. As you can see from this demo, they've they we already have a cog wheel uh, effect inside of cinema. And as you can see, we've actually refined that. So now um, you can do all manner of cogs really, really simply. Uh, you've got the new center cog as well, uh, which enables you to punch the whole light of the middle of that as well. So it's a real big deal. Another great thing from Cinema 4D is also the new house builder um, tool as well, which enables you to build houses with rooms and doors really, really easily. So again, very excited to see that. Also creating packaging for um, actual product items, being able to fold the packaging up so it wraps around your object. Um, there really is quite a few tools that are coming out in R16 and I really look forward to showing you. Um, as I said, this was really just a quick uh, video uh, to talk about R16 and those new features. So um, I look forward to seeing you next time in our next video where I hopefully wish you get my hands on it and I can take you through those. Again, for me, the most important thing here is the motion tracker just for a normal piece of software. So until next time, take care, happy rendering.